and the demographics of the world is beginning to assert itself along with the demand for talents and skills. So, put very simply, uh, where there is today demand is not necessarily where there is demographics. So, how the global economy actually deals with this gap, this is actually one of the big, big issues. And it's an issue because it's not just a demand supply uh, evening out issue. There are uh, cultural ma uh, there are cultural issues here. Uh, there are mobility concerns. Uh, there is a question of uh, you know when when uh, uh, large numbers of people uh, move in one direction or the other. Uh, this these need to be managed. Uh, and there needs to be the right framework, there need to be the right policies. Uh, but the fact is, uh, we are seeing increasingly in Europe, uh, uh, the, the openness today uh, to uh, look at the skills and talents of India. And uh, one of it, one, one aspect of it you could say is, yes, there is a demand, but one aspect of it equal is that Indians have established a global reputation. That Indian uh, talent when it goes outside is able to fit in with, uh, with the environment, with the work culture of other places. Uh, and you know, it may interest uh, some of you to know, just yesterday, uh, I actually concluded an agreement with Austria uh, for uh, mobility uh, and migration. So it it uh, uh, it finalizes uh, uh, a regime uh, by which uh, Indians working in Austria get the treatment uh, which which they are entitled to get the facilities and the protection which uh, you know our people uh, deserve and we had done it at uh, uh, concluded a similar agreement last December with Germany 